I'm Mark Dalton. Uh, to ruin fantasies out there, I was no one's bitch. I um, was performing last night at the Adonis Lounge, which was uh, somewhat eventful. I'm not used to doing all nude parties. I'm more of a performer um, on stage uh, type situations, and uh, this was uh, a lot of mingling around uh, with no clothes on. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, man. So many. Hmm. Uh, it was good uh, seeing a lot of faces I hadn't seen in a long time. Seeing a lot of people that I've, I've known for 10, 15 years that all came out to the club uh, to say hi and uh, give me a little money. So that's always good. Well, it's, it's similar to how the movies and TV uh, portrays it. Uh, a lot of gangs, a lot of fights, a lot of tattoos. Um, but uh, some of the things that I, I it, they don't show on TV and some things that just are, you don't see in everyday life. When the guards um, come by your cell to count you to make sure you have not escaped, um, some of the guards uh, like to bend over and you know accentuate their their backside to you and squeeze their titties and stand there while you jack off and then they go to the next cell and do the same thing if that guard does do that the other inmates will say you know is that guard good and if they say she's good it's usually a woman guard um, and if she's they say she's good that means um, that's what she does you know she will sit there and let you play with yourself while you look at her. I myself never did that. I have a very extensive wank bank. I have a lot of memories that I can go back to, so I didn't need that. No, no, nothing good. You actually, you know, 99% of the people come out probably worse off than when they went in, to be quite honest. And that's taken you know, from seeing a lot, a lot of people firsthand experience and just, there's no rehabilitation. It's just, let's learn how to be criminals. And so that's what's being released. I went to a strip club uh, for amateur night, a club called La Bear in Dallas. And um, it's where you dance for women. And my girlfriend at the time, she said that, you know, I look better than all the guys there and I should go. So I went there for amateur night, one amateur night, started dancing there, um, went to Miami La Bear and won a contest. And with that contest, I won a video contract with a company called Vista Video and, um, you know, did a couple scenes for them. No big deal. Got paid. Um, thought it was really cool, uh, even though it was, you know, very awkward for me, I thought uh, at the time. And then maybe a year later, you know, people were coming up to me. Oh my God, you're Mark Dalton. Oh my God. I'm like, that's the, you know, it's not necessarily my real name. Um, but, uh, it's the only time I used that name and I could not believe that all these people knew who I was. And, you know, um, I literally went to a forum room that, that night that, you know, I found this out and, you know, I said, this is Mark Dalton. Here's my email address. Here's my phone number. And whoop, nah, that's all it took. Uh, a couple weeks later, I was in LA and shot the, Shot photo shoots that whole week and got the cover of seven different magazines at all at one time. So uh, that's pretty much how it all started. Magic Mike is is pretty much on point. Whoever um, uh, directed that movie, they did the research because that is pretty much on point. It really is. I mean, it's um, it's a lot of fantasy uh, involved, but. Reality is not always sexy, so I'd rather be a fantasy. And I came from a little small country town in Texas. Um, um, came here to New York City. It was Gay Pride Week. And the first week, week I was up here, and, and, and to see the parade and see so much, everybody flamboyant, and I've never seen anything like that. So that was pretty much my first encounter uh, with the gay community. And and literally 
from that moment, I I noticed so many guys and even the model director at the company I was working with, you know, it's like, oh my God, all the guys are always staring at you. And I always, I mean, I always had girls staring at me too, but it, oh, it was 10 times more guys. And uh, so I don't know, I put off this gay vibe, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 no doubt, no doubt. Some I've uh, um, had experience with, uh, some, um, I, you know, kind of their requests were a little too extravagant for my, my taste. <laughs> you know, it, it was a good video. I, you know, I, I wrote the whole screenplay to that video, uh, which I got no credit for. But, uh, you know, the video, it was fun. Zeb uh, flew out to Texas uh, to meet me, and um, we shot it around Dallas, and um, it, was, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was a pretty sexy shower scene, uh, I'll, so I'm told. I'm not sure exactly how I resisted because I, if I, I mean, it, it's really unimaginable the amount of money I've been offered to do uh, more than what I've done in film. And the main reason why I haven't is just because I like being different and everybody always ends up, you know, doing all and I wanted to be unique. And um, sure, I get a lot of criticism and everybody's, oh my God, you're not going to be famous for very much longer if you don't do more. I'm like, okay, you really care so much about my fame, don't you? <laughs> I'm sure I could have made a lot of better decisions uh, throughout my career, uh, but I did make a lot of good ones. Well, I'm uh, doing, um, uh, updating my, my website, markdaltonxxx.com. I've already shot a few new videos, did a lot of new photo shoots that no one's seen, and uh, that's all being um, uh, updated on the, the website here in the next couple weeks, actually. Well, I do like to be tempted, let's put it that way.